Good morning. It is, I have no clue what day it is. I think it is, um, I know it's Thursday and I think it's like the 13th. Let's go this way. So it is my first day on campus in two years. So the last time I was on campus was I think in 2020. I think I was in like March. And it's been a while, I'm really nervous. <clears throat> I'm not sure where I'm going. I think I've been in this building before. Um, so I think I've been in this building before. I need to put lotion on my hands so bad. Like they sound so dry. Anyways, I think I've been in this building before and I think I know where I'm, so I think I know where I'm going, but I'm just a, I don't know why I'm nervous. I can't really explain it, but it's just, it's just like exciting, but I'm scared at the same time. So, oh my God, I have not been outside in like a week and two days because so on Thursday of last week, I was like getting ready to leave my house and my room is upstairs. So I started walking down the stairs, like right about to leave my house and my dumb ass falls down the stairs. <laughs> I, I was like at the top of the stairs, right? And I was like at the third step and somehow my feet slipped out from underneath me like my feet were on like the edge of the step and they slipped and I fell back I fell backwards and <laughs> I was like all I saw was I was looking up at the ceiling and I just saw the ceiling like going down so like all I saw was I fell I was looking at the ceiling and then I was I was falling down the stairs on my back straight up at the ceiling down like five stairs so <clears throat> I wrecked my tailbone. My tailbone hurt so bad for like a week. I don't think it hurts today, but it hurt for like a week. So that's what happened on um, Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I got sick for a week so that I couldn't leave the house. Yeah, I got sick for a week and then I couldn't leave the house. And there's cars next to me, so I don't want to, like, be judged. Okay, so yeah. So I didn't leave the house for a week because I was sick, and I'm no longer sick. I might sound a little nasty, but I'm no longer sick. And, yeah, so I haven't left the house in, like, a week. So my car's freezing right now, and the reason why it's freezing is because my heat freaking blew out and I don't have, my car doesn't have heat anymore. So basically, um, yeah, so I don't, ha I don't technically have heat. So basically what happens is, so when I'm driving and my car is like in motion, my heat will blow out hot, but when I'm stopped, my heat stops working, which means that my heat is broken. So, I'm kind of freezing. So you could be like, why don't you get it fixed? I tried that. <laughs> so I, I took it to the shop, obviously, and they're like, oh, this hose is leaking. And then they fixed it, they fixed it. And then I got my car back, and that exact same day, I was sitting in my car, and I was like, this is cold, like, why, why is this blowing out cold? And you know, my heat gauge is like all the way to the middle, which means it's warm, and it's blowing out cold air. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. I'm probably just crazy. So I started driving, and then it came out warm. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just crazy. So then I like really realized, like a few weeks later, that it wasn't working. So then we took it back to the place. Oh shit, I gotta go straight, fuck me. I gotta go straight, fuck. Sorry, I forgot which way I'm going. I was in the wrong lane, bitch. Anyways, so we, so after I realized it was broken, because 
originally, I took it in for something, and then they said that, oh, your heat's also broken. So then I had to pay $600 for this to get fixed. It was like that and something else. So it was probably like 300 or something like that. So they fixed it once. We took it back, and they're like, oh, we fixed it this time. And then it didn't. They, they didn't fix it. So I still don't have heat. So like when I'm driving, my heat blows out hot air. But the second my foot goes on the brake and my car is not in motion, it blows out cold. So, yeah, I don't have heat. And then in the summertime, if you know my job is delivering, and so in the summertime, my air conditioning stopped working. So I feel like, I don't know. So yeah, my air doesn't work either. So I don't have like any type of like climate control. I don't know. I don't know what you would call that, <laughs> but like my my air doesn't work because I never got it fixed. My heat doesn't work because, I mean, I tried to get that shit fixed, but they didn't fix it. So, yeah. My heat's like working now, so I'm not like freezing my ass off, but still, it'd be kind of cold. My hands are freezing. So, yeah, I'm like almost on my way to the campus. I have like a little bit of time. I have no clue where I'm going to park. Cause I don't know where this building is. Like I think I have it in my in my 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 noggin up here, but I'm not really sure. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I tried to go the less bumpy way. I don't know if it really worked out like that, but I'm not really nervous anymore. I feel like I feel like I'm the only person who's nervous. Like everyone else is like way too cool. <laughs> I have no clue. I have no clue what parking is gonna be like. I don't know how many people are here. I don't know if it's a full classroom. I don't know anything. So I'm gonna turn this off in case like one of my classmates is next to me, and I don't want them to think I'm weird. Bye. Okay. So let me back up out of this parking spot before I start talking. Wee. Okay, so I am by far one of the stupidest people I've ever met, and I say that because, so I got, I got all the way there, started looking for my class, I'm like, I was like on the wrong floor, <laughs> I was on the wrong floor, because like the first number, like every classroom is three digits, and the first number means like what floor you're on, like a, you know. So, I should fucking went the other way. I'll just have to turn around. Okay, so, basically, I was I found my class, but I was on the wrong floor. So, I was like, fuck. So, <laughs> I went up a floor, and I found it, and on the door, it says, this class is online. This fucking class is online. See, listen. So, I can turn on red here. So basically, what just happened was, oh my lord. Okay, let's um, try that again. Holy shit, bitch. Okay, so basically what just happened, besides like the camera just falling, or my phone just falling, is I knew that the class was online, but I didn't read. So basically what happened was, is I got an email saying that I'm taking a biology class. That's annoying. I got an email saying the camera's bouncing so much. This road is so bad. Oh my god, I should have went on the other road. Oh my god, this road fucking sucks. Let me chill. So basically. I'm about to go on the other road. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh my lord, I'm so annoyed. Basically what just happened was, so I got an email like a week, I'll just hold it. So I got an email like a week prior saying that, you know, the lab portion of bio is gonna be online. But this teacher, this professor, 
did, I swear to God, she did not put that lecture was going to be online too. So my entire fucking class is online and I just drove here and I had no fucking clue. Like, it's my own fault because like, apparently I didn't fucking read. I can't believe I just fucking did that. Like, I've never met someone as stupid as I am. So, yeah, I'm going back home because I need to go get on my fucking Zoom class. So, goodbye. <laughs> See you in like a fucking week. So I'm on my way to school. I've had a lot of trouble trying to actually go to school because they want you to fill out this like form that says you don't have any symptoms of Corona. And I, like I said, like it's been like a few weeks. It's the third, it's actually, it's actually February 1st right now. It's actually February 1st. So it's been like two weeks since I tried to go to school. But anyways, the moral of the story is they want you to fill out this thing that says like, oh, I don't have any corona symptoms. And um, I found out that I had a cough because I did. And then they told me that I couldn't come to school. And the reason why I have the cough is because I have allergies. But anyway, so the reason why I couldn't go to school is because they told me that I had a cough and I had to get tested or whatever. But I'm like, I literally just have allergies. So I had to get cleared to go back to school, which took like a week or so. I feel like my phone is gonna fall. Okay, so this angle is kind of weird because the tripod that I normally use keeps falling. So it's clipped to my bed. And I just got done with class. I have two classes. I almost got hit by a car walking there. So I must be going. Oh shit. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't fall. Okay, so I literally almost got hit by a car. So like I was like walking to class and I was on my feet, right? I'm not in a car. I almost so I was walking to class and this this Jeep was backing up and I could see that they were backing up, but I thought they were gonna stop. So I kept walking and literally I was so close to getting hit by this car that I like tapped on the back of their car to let them know that I was standing there. Like I backhanded their car. I'm gonna go this way. So like I didn't know what to do because I like they were they were they were like I was like less than a foot away from this car. And they, they were like really gonna hit me. So I didn't know what to do. So I literally backhanded their car to try to let them know that I was there. But then after I did that, I was like, I shouldn't have done that because could you imagine if they got mad and thought that I like hit their car or something like that? <sighs> Anyways. Okay, so it's like it's two o'clock right now so i'm gonna try to finish this so i have to talk okay so it's like two o'clock right now and when i was on my way to school i was so nervous because this is my first time in school in a long time because last time i went here i didn't even have class but it actually went really well because i have a biology class and I, so i have a lab and a lecture and they're one class but they're at two different times like i just paid for one class but there's two anyway so i was like nervous because i was like i have to find like a group of people to do lab with so i was really nervous but this person is flying slow down so i was so nervous but i had a group with three different three other different girls and i was trying to participate because i'm like not the most ecstatic person to be talking to other people so it actually went really well and i feel like i'm not gonna have any more anxiety hopefully i'll probably still have a little but 
it actually went really well. So last time I was complaining about how my heat in my air in my car was broken and I didn't have any heat. So I wasn't planning on it, but I got a new car and by I got a new car means I bought another used car. So I got a merge. So I bought a used car and before I used to have a 2006 Chevy Impala and then I bought another one. So I have another 2006 Chevy Impala. Like I bought the same exact one, but the difference in this one is I have a sunroof. Sunroof. And this one has remote start because I live in Michigan and it's, and it's like really cold. Right now it's 50, but normally it's really cold. And we're gonna get a snowstorm tomorrow. So this one had, has remote start and this one has heated seats. My first one was my first car and it was like a base model. This one's like an upgraded one. So I bought the same exact car. And this one does a lot better. This one has heat. But when I first got it, this like I got it. And then the next day, so I went to start my car and it wouldn't start. So I have to take it into the shop and it did eventually start. But like my electricity was odd but the car wouldn't start so i have to take it to the shop and see what that is because it's done it twice now it did it i think two days ago it's only done that to me twice but eventually it's not going to start at all because it it did restart <sighs> so i'm talking a lot i can't breathe so I actually like this vent clip so much better because it's so much more discreet because normally I have my tripod like on the dashboard and like everyone can see that I'm like filming which is like weird um I don't know what else I have to say really so I have two other classes that are both online so I have two psychology classes so I don't know if I said this, but basically what happened was, is I was supposed to, oh, there's a cop. I'm going 35 and this is 25 and there's a cop. He doesn't even care. So basically what was supposed to happen was in 2020, I believe it was winter 2020. So it's like January. I was supposed, that was supposed to be my last semester, but this biology class that I took I did not do very well, so I had to, I have to retake it. So I so I took my biology class online, and now I'm taking it on campus. I honestly forgot what I was talking about. So I have yeah I don't know what my point was, but basically the point is is that I'm taking it on campus now. So you know when I was taking it online. I couldn't do any of the activities or whatever so it was a lot harder and get out the way it was a lot harder for me so I did get a D and I have to retake it oh yeah so what I was saying earlier about how I had to do a health screening so basically to be able to come on campus you have to fill out a health screening, which it'll ask you like, have you traveled in the past 14 days? Like, do you have any of these symptoms? And t a week ago on Tuesday, I believe, I said that I had a cough because I did. And they basically told me that I was not allowed to go on to campus. So I had to wait to get cleared by some person that was on campus and they cleared me over the phone i think on like saturday and my class is on tuesday thursday so no maybe i think they i think they cleared me on thursday so i couldn't go to class because class had already ended so i got cleared and yeah so now i'm allowed on campus I have my first test this Thursday 
and we're supposed to get i i heard on the on the news that we're supposed to get 11 inches of snow on um wednesday which is tomorrow wednesday and thursday so they were thinking that maybe they were my professor was saying that maybe it's going to be closed but that means i can't take the test which means i have more time to study so i'm hoping that it does indeed close there's someone next to me that's making me nervous um, I'm hoping that it does close so I have more time to study because I'm just really not excited to take this test because I'm terrified of failing again. So hope I'm I'm not excited for that much snow because I don't remember the last time we've had 11 inches of snow because right now it's 46 degrees which is not temperature for snow like all the snow that we currently have is melting. So it's going to be weird as hell for the temperature to go down to freezing and get snow tomorrow, allegedly. I really can't remember the last time we had that much snow. I was probably a child, which was probably like more than 10 years ago. It was yesterday, just kidding. For some reason, my ears are plugged. I hope I'm not getting sick. Because like my, 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 my nose sounds stuffy, it's not. But my, my ears are plugged. I just realized that it is 50 degrees and I am in full snow attire. I didn't know it was going to be warm today. I thought it was going to be cold.